Okay, so a good question is asked that what is the role of VEX score in septic patient? So the full form of uh, VEX is venous excess ultrasound score. So now if I simplify this into one or two minutes, so understand that what happened in septic patient, all of the septic patients require fluid resuscitation. But if this fluid resuscitation goes too far, now the, if the patient is fluid overloaded, then the chances of uh, developing AKI increases or the uh, mortality chances increases. So how do we um, know that the pa patient doesn't require now more fluid and in fact the patient needs to be decongested, we need to have diuretics and uh, dialysis in this patient. So here the role of VEX scoring comes. So what uh, this uh, sees that it is based on the principle that when the patient is uh, fluid, uh, means adequately uh, fluid filled and if it is overfilled, what happens? The back pressure from the uh, right atrium or the right ventricle goes to the IVC, then through the IVC to the hepatic veins, portal veins and the intrarenal veins. And if this back pressure uh, gets too high, because of the venous congestion, the perfusion of the kidney is hampered and the chances of developing AKI develops. So this VEX score wants to assess. So how it does, it checks the four veins. So firstly, it will check IVC. If the IVC is less than two centimeter, that means the it, it, it's not fluid overloaded and we stop there. We won't go further. If it now IVC is congested, means if it is more than two centimeter or 2.1 centimeter, then we look at the three veins. One is the hepatic vein, then you look at the portal vein and then the intrarenal veins. Now, if the flow in these categories is reversed or it is not abnormal, it is not normal. Like in hepatic veins, the flow occurs only during systole. But if, if the veins are congested, it occurs during diastole. It reverses. In the portal vein, the flow is uh, uh, continuous. But if it start congesting, it becomes pulsatile. In the intrarenal veins. The flow uh, is continuous, but in, in severe congestion, it occurs during diastole. So we'll check first the IVC and then put a Doppler on the hepatic vein, portal vein in the intrarenal veins. So it is graded from 0 to 3. 0 means no congestion, 3 means severe congestion. So if the VEX score is 3 or 2 or 1 means if it is high, that means the patient doesn't require more fluid. In fact, it requires uh, diuretics or uh, dialysis in such patients because more VEX score is associated with higher chance of developing AKI, more uh, mortality, more length of stay, like that. So we need to keep VEX score as low as possible. I hope this uh, is clarifies. Do read more about it.